I mean, I'm just saying we have amazing natural medicine here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Healing comes in peace. Ah, yes. The cactus. I don't know why, but <laughs> I started I mean, pocket sand and they were just like, heal, and you throw it in their face. <laughs> <laughs> is this is this the way of the blessing? <laughs> Heal, bitch! And you just <laughs> I'm sorry. That is that is the most New Yorker way of healing I've ever heard. So. Yeah, like someone's just doing like, just doing chest compressions for CPR. Heal, heal, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. All right. I I have, to, <laughs> have to, I have to go away and take a shower because no. the, blessed, the blessed ligma is a little dank right now. So I'll see you guys later. Bye -bye. All right. All right. Because of all that hey. healing sand uh, in your face. <laughs> I got to wash the healing sand out of my eyes, dude. Yeah, that face. It's a problem. Was, isn't it the greatest facial you've ever had, man? <laughs> <laughs> the well, strongest sand. facial. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm, I'm out of here. You guys are silly. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Uh, what other weird stuff's on there, Myth? Uh, I got to the end of the list and it wasn't very interesting. Like, those are the uh, ones that stood out. Now I'm looking at what's supposed to be a list of the 25 dumbest dog breeds, but Labradoodles are on here. Dumbest? Like They're it. not dumb. I like Labradoodles. I don't I don't know if it's like sat a satirical list, because I'm not reading it. I'm just reading the names of the dog breeds. Fair. I've only had one problem with a Golden Doodle, They're and that like was because of their own. kinds of terriers. Because of them. Yeah. Basically, this woman came in with a golden doodle, which, as you know, is not a small dog breed, um, and was claiming, oh, it's, you know, it's it's a, what do they call it's them? Not therapy dog. dogs? It's a working dog? One of, one of those? Uh, emotional support pet? No, they didn't call it an emotional support pet. That's the thing. They called it, like, a... a service dog? Service dog. Thank you. Um, I'm just like, okay, where's the vest? And she pulls out this tiny little thing that you can get from, like, a dollar store that says, like, service dog on it, and it's just like... That is an emotional support like animal. This animal, yeah, like this animal has no training. Very obviously, it's like sniffing at everything. Ah, it literally Jesus. starts barking at kids who are in the store. Mm -hmm. I was just like, get that, also, get out. A, a ah, but I got star, this like, vest on Walmart, so that clearly yeah, means that's an emotional well, they don't support know is, animal. Ah. Well, they don't notice that the training involved in a service dog is like a service dog is like fifty thousand dollars. No, like, exactly. what are you talking about? Everybody knows that it has stats like an RPG. You equip the vest, <laughs> and it suddenly gets plus 50 training. That's how it works, right? That's oh, clear. right, right. Ah. I, I'm, uh, thanks, brother. Forgot, I couldn't tell you. The government-approved vest. You, you're right. I couldn't Twitter. tell you the, the number of pets I've seen walking to my store at Walmart. I've seen monkeys. I've seen kangaroos. I've seen... Right. Obviously, dogs, right. cats, and uh, I've seen service donkeys before. That's pretty interesting. That's I had a macaw, and apparently there was a, sur a service emu in Australia for. Assuming yeah, horses also. <laughs> yeah, I can service, horses, like yeah. miniature ponies. Miniature? I'm talking a full-grown horse. Well, like, so basically, some people like having service dogs. Like, if they're blind, they like having like see seeing eye dog. Some people are just not dog people, so you can actually get like a seeing eye miniature horse. That's a thing. <laughs> That's funny. yeah, or they're allergic to like dog fur or something. Ah, uh, I have no fucking idea. Or they like horses. Or they like horses. <clears throat> like fair horses enough, but at the same time, like, how do you get a full ass horse into a well, car? Well, it's a miniature horse. No, she no, no, saw a full ass horse. I saw a full horse. Not it in just the runs city. along. It just runs alongside the car. Really. <laughs> going for a walk. Going <laughs> <laughs> to go on the interstate. Want to go for a jog? I have to drive to 7-Eleven. It's just a little far away. I need a Coca-Cola. Come on, follow me. Follow me, oh my I mean, actually, if you have a fucking service horse, would you not just, like, ride the horse? What would they, I mean, that would actually could. be really smart. Like, the there's a hotel downtown here that, that like, legitimately oh. has to feed your horse if you come in with one. There's, like, a fucking law in certain states where if you bring a horse to school... Like, the principal is legally obligated to take care of the horse, so, like, feed it, water it, make sure it has Amazing. shade and all that shit. Mm. Also, what were because, you saying, Miss? I'm sorry. Because that's your means of transportation I, and whatnot. The list of quote-unquote dumb dog breeds, I clicked on it because it had a picture of an English Mastiff for, like, the advertisement picture. Finally got to that part of the list, 
and when they listed English Mastiff, they didn't even have that breed of dog in the picture. Oh. There's like seven different kinds of Mastiffs, and the one they listed was not the English. If you're going to be a clickbait article, then at least be honest with what's presented in the picture. Dude, yeah, no, I fucking also, had they the used same it for the fucking ad of the thing picture. happen Why wasn't it in the when, list? I, when I was like, I was doing fucking research on like fucking weather patterns, right? And I was like looking okay. for, I was looking for articles that was like, okay, so like what month out of the year produces the most lightning, like via uh, storms yeah. and whatnot? And I literally found an article that was like, this is like the month that produces the most lightning. And you know what it told me? What? It told me what lightning was. How much annual rainfall comes per month, what a thunderstorm is, what wind is, how wind forms, what happens when a tornado forms. You know what it didn't tell me? What fucking month has the most lightning? <laughs> right? I feel like, it's like a clickbait. It was exactly a fucking clickbait because it's like, mm -hmm. ah, here's the answer to the question you're looking up, except for psych, I'm not actually going to answer it. I'm just going to fucking spoon feed you a bunch of useless fucking trivia. Oh, no, it's shit. even worse. It's like Would something you can answer with side. one word. You can answer that question with one word, and you can't Literally. find it anywhere except for an article that is a thousand and doesn't even answer it at all. Hang on, I fucking- I read a, I read a fucking post about this in one of our fucking- in one of our fucking groups, and it has like a- it has like a ridiculous number of fucking useless shit that it expected me to fucking bother with. It sounds like a generic YouTube clickbait thumbnail. Mm. Except not YouTube, just, you know, the general internet. Yeah, I'll admit I'm very much not immune to them, because, but, the, yeah, it's really disappointing when you do click on it, and it is, like, complete clickbait, where, like, the actual topic has nothing to do with why you went on it. Just, like, exactly. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. oh, I thought the Halo theme song was playing for a minute. And that's because you're a degenerate that doesn't know quality when you see it. Oof. Wow. It's probably true, but wow. Also, um, Zuckerman, this isn't about veterinarians. These are service animals that he was talking about. Service animals are specifically trained either to care for the medical needs or protection. Like, serious as protection, not just the bark bark. Of there's also own. there's also an etiquette as to how you're supposed to interact. Like you're not ah! supposed to pet them randomly. Or yeah, but if one approaches them. you, yeah, if one approaches you, you follow it. Okay, so I, fa I found the fucking I found the fucking shit I was talking about. So the question I looked up: Which month statistically has it. the most thunderstorms on average? Article title: Ask a naturalist. What month has the most thunderstorms? What the article talks about: What thunderstorms are? The weather conditions that typically cause thunderstorms. What lightning is? How lightning is formed and how it produces thunder? How many thunderstorms occur yearly? The weather variety in fucking Minnesota. Minnesota <laughs> residents talking about winter being dominant for most of the year. Rain accumulation. How long a thunderstorm lasts based on its severity? Fucking tornado touchdowns in Minnesota. What to do when a thunderstorm hits? What the article doesn't talk about what fucking month statistically produces the most thunderstorms i am going to guess april april really we get yeah, some storms here because i've always heard like as a i guess it might be a tennessee it depends thing. where you are yeah, yeah for, a t for tennessee we call like april like tornado season mm. i mean to be fair in texas when um the cold fronts come in or leave. There's always like a wave, a strong wave of thunderstorms too. Come on, come on, come on! Ah. Gotcha. Mm hmm. Myth, you good? Ah. Ah. Okay. I thought you get just got very excited over wool or something. No. Wait, wool? <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> 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 
fuck <laughs> word, what? <laughs> Why wool? Why are you saying wool? Because you knit, and you get very excited over wool. Okay, I was wondering if you were referring to knitting or Minecraft. Yes. No, we're oh. referring to knitting. <laughs> Keep forgetting the other thing right Minecraft. now. That's all I've been doing the last like three days. No, I'm aware. Yeah. Of it. I'm, a, I'm was, aware. Yeah, of the she was streaming that the other day. Like she was. I was. I was fixating. I finally finished that farm. I was fixating on. Cow. Goodbye, I think cow. it was Border who showed this to me. The guy who has like seven alt accounts on RuneScape. And he can somehow simultaneously play all seven, and all he's doing is alchemical mining. Yeah. Dude, I've thought so hard about getting a second Minecraft account just so I can leave one at my AFK farms. Just get resources, and the other one can go and be building. I don't have to choose. Mm -hmm. I do mm -hmm. think I'm done in here for tonight, so I'm gonna clean up. I do admit, I, um, I like that Texas has more uh, weather variety than California as much as the sun was not. Well, the sun is nice. I do really uh, get excited when the thunderstorms roll in, though. And apparently we're going to get some in a week. We've been having them, like, all summer, basically. Lucky. Did you get a result mm -hmm. for when hot. Texas has the most lightning? Mm -hmm. That might work better. Come on. Come on. I'm just ready for summer to be over. I'm tired of this heat. What heat? It's like just started. I know. I still hate it. Congratulations. Oh, oh just what the hell? Ah. Yeah. Okay, so according to, according to this article, <clears throat> this Texas city experienced the most lightning strikes in 2021. Which one? So, the city that we're all in right now? One sec. One sec. It's, yes. it's so stupid. We are definitely all oh, in the same city right now. We we'll right, have to go I find can... each other, right? That's that's the goal? Yeah, it's, Flatonia, it's Flatonia, Texas. Where the hell Flatonia. is that, even? Lightning oh, capital of Texas is just 90 miles east of... Mm -hmm. so. It's Lamas. Oh, 90 miles east of San Antonio. So, uh, actually, we don't live terribly far from it. I mean, it's a bit of a drive, but I think we've driven further to go, further to go get you, maybe? Like, Welcome to isn't Texas. The, Everything's a bit of a drive. Isn't Fredericksburg? Yeah. yeah. Isn't Fredericksburg further away than that? I think so. Yeah, Fredericksburg is a little bit further than that, yeah. In most countries, you can drive for four hours and be in a completely different country. In Texas, you can drive for four hours and still be in Texas. I can drive for 12 hours and still be in Texas. <laughs> exactly. I literally drove for 12 hours across Texas and didn't even make it across Texas. Yeah, I fucking... I literally drove from... Well, I didn't drive, but, like, I was on a fucking road trip from California to Texas that took, like, roughly about three and a half days, and two of the and two and a half of those days was just driving through Texas. No, like, I, I drove uh, from L.A. to, you know, the current city that I live in, which is... Uh, somewhere around the Austin area. Now, that's not all the way across Texas. Over the 20-hour drive, the first three states only took up eight hours. The remaining 12 was going across Texas, and to add to it, I'm going in a straight line at 90 miles an hour. And it still was 12 hours, and I still didn't make it all the way across. <laughs> like, when we first started dating, I checked how far it would be to drive down to where Solar lives. Like, more than 15 hours... And like after the first six, it's all it, it's most. I think after the first six, it's mostly Texas. <laughs> Sounds about I, right. I think that would just make me mad if I have drove that long. I still be in the same state because I'd be like, I've made no progress. Well, I mean, oh, the dude, scenery why do you not changes. love Texas? Well, you could do like a twelve-hour drive and maybe stay at Blisses and Aeons and stuff, and then head over to. Solar's right after. They, they're oh. two hours away. It would still be a ridiculously long drive. It'd be smarter to just, like, stop at a hotel in Oklahoma or something. Mm -hmm. And then take all of Texas in one day. <laughs> I'm gonna double-check that, actually. What? I'm still in Minecraft. I forgot. Mm. Get out of there. Hmm. Alright. 
Because I remember driving from Texas to Cali, and it took, yeah, about a day and a half or so to get out of Texas. <laughs> about 15 and a half hours. Okay, a little more than half. Texas is a little less than half of it. I'm going to say this. The Texan drive was prettier than I thought when you're coming, when you're going from east to west. Because you actually do get to see it turn. It does have parts of it that are like red sandstone desert, like what you expect to like Nevada or Utah mm. near El Paso, which is actually, it's actually really pretty. The central area is kind of pretty too. And hill country like sneaks up on you in a way that the scene, that like you don't understand how you got into hill country or why everything is suddenly super hilly, but it's really, really pretty. You just don't remember how you got in here or where the flat lands went or why you didn't see this I remember up. how I got there. You were driving. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's well. That was for Fredericksburg. Yeah, I was. I was talking about if you approach it from, from like El Paso. Mm -hmm. Remember, the biggest culture shock I had was that gas was less than half what it cost when I had to refuel in Texas. This is like a cutscene. Like the moment I crossed the border, it was like, oh my god, I'm not paying five dollars for LA gas. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you cross that border and like, oh wait a minute, gas is one ninety eight. Oh, 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 this is gonna be yeah. a big change. It was and like a buck seventy five. That'll be about three fifty. Like fucking three fifty. Uh, Jesus Christ! It's trying to be four fifty where I'm at. Oh, wait, it's just, like it, is it? I think it's. It's, it's all the like goddamn like Californians moving here. It's like, hmm, this is a pretty great state, but you know what it's missing? Really fucking high gas prices. Let's let let's get some of that in there. Nice. Exactly. Nice. What the hell? That was crazy laughter in someone's background. Yeah, it That's sounds blue. like I can recognize it. Yeah, I heard that laughter, yeah. and it sounded like it was under a flanger. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna mess with this. I found someone put a laugh gif. I'm messing with this. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just ask, what are you laughing about? What's so funny? I mean, they were they said they were watching Kenobi, I just said, so. ha 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 ha. Uh, ah! She's watching up. a movie, she's not gonna notice our posts. We gotta. Yeah, we still need to watch that again. Yeah, yeah those are allies. Sorry, I was here tonight. It'd be great for Hocus Pocus. Very fine. I need to start You're watching sick. it, too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, that was close. You sounded like you audibly farted. Like, as you were touching the ground. <laughs> he just cropped Sounds like you everyone. were chancing a very risky fart. I mean, he lives, so I guess it paid off. When you risk a fart and you end up not shitting your pants. I live to tell the tale. Feeling. 